Hi there, thank you for watching my video and this is a tutorial on the song The Present Tense by Radiohead. The song is not that hard to play but the difficult thing is the right hand, the picking, the pattern is pretty uh, yeah, difficult to play in time and the structure of the song is pretty weird. It took me quite some time to figure out the right structure of the song but I wrote it down in a tab and I suggest you check out the tab. This will definitely help you play the song much faster. At first let's uh, take a look at the finger, pe finger picking pattern. We're playing a G minor chord, um, but one thing is important. I've got a capo on fret number one. Um, this is because there is an open string ring every now and then, and that's the G string. But the G sounds like a G sharp. When I'm referring to fret number 10, you have to count from the capo. So it's confusing me sometimes as well. But when I say number 10, you uh, have to play it on fret number 11. But So let's count from the capo and um, make that switch in your head. So fret number 10. G minor, fret number 10, fret number 12, and fret number 11. That makes G minor chord, those three. And I'm plucking it with my thumb, index, and ring finger. Sometimes I use my middle finger as well when I need the string uh, next to the ring finger. But when I need the string next to the thumb, I'm using my index finger. So beware. Um, the pattern is like this. So play it slowly, thumb, ring, index, thumb, ring, index, thumb, ring, index, thumb. Yeah, so it's always that pattern. And the rhythm is like this. So if you've got trouble playing the rhythm, you should uh, hang on for a moment and rewind and play it again and practice till you got the rhythm down then you can continue okay the next chord this is the intro the next chord is a c minor on fret number eight ten and eight again so thumb index and ring and the next chord is a d over f sharp So now I'm using my ring and middle or my middle and index. Yeah, and always the same rhythm. The next chord is a B minor on fret number seven. So the same chord as before the C minor, but then one fret lower. Fret number seven, nine, and seven. And then you go to uh, B flat major. So B minor, B flat major. Yes. The ending of the B flat major is a little bit different if you play the third string. Directly after you play the third string, you play the fret number six and fret number four. It's kind of transition to the next chord. to E flat major on fret 6, fret 8 and fret 8, the 2nd, the 4th and the 5th string. And then to A flat major, pretty straightforward, 4, 6 and 5, 3rd string, 5th string and 6th string. To F minor on fret number 8, fret number 10, fret number nine, fifth, fourth, and second string. And then to the B flat chord again on fret six, eight, and seven. And that's the intro. And you play the intro two times in the song. I'm gonna play it for you one time uh, slowly. So now at full speed.
Okay, that's the intro. Play two times in the song and then you go to the verse. And there are four verses and every verse is a little bit different but uses the same chords. So check out the tab and then you will see exactly how the structure of the song is. Um, so the first word, the first verse, and now we go to the open string. The picking pattern is mostly the same but you end with one extra note, one open string. So we play fret number 10 and fret number 11. So you end with one extra index finger. It's a little bit of a transition note. It's not necessary, but it's optional. So the first chord, a G minor. And that open string gives you some extra time to change chords, which is pretty convenient, right? <laughs> So the next chord is a C minor, played with your middle finger on the 8th fret and your ring finger on the 8th fret on the 3rd string and your pinky on the 2nd string, the 8th fret as well. But halfway the chord, the chord change, ch changes to a C minor at 9 or a C sus 2. And then at the end you release your index finger. So it's 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, 8, uh, thumb open. And that open string gives you some time to go back to the G minor. So there's a link, you play it two times and then he starts singing, you play it two times as well. Those two chords, G minor, C minor. An E flat major, but now with an open G string. And a D minor with an open G string. So just fret 6 and fret 8. And fret 5 and 6. Two times. Now you go back to the G minor, C minor, G minor, C minor, and then E flat, D minor, E flat, D minor again. That's verse number two. So, and uh, verse number two has the little bit ending where he sings present tense. Well, you can call that the chorus maybe. Um, so G minor, C minor two times, E flat, D minor two times, and then from the E flat major, you just play fret number eight on the A string. But with your pinky on fret 8 as well. So it's an F with a 9. So it's called an F sus 2. And there you go back to verse number 3. Verse number 3 is basically the same as verse number 2, but then uh, with uh, one extra chord. So you play G minor, C minor, G minor, C minor, and then E flat major. D minor, E flat major, and then to C, sus4. So it sounds like this, E flat major, D minor, E flat major, C sus4, E flat major, D minor, and E flat major, and F sus 2. And back to verse number 4. Yes, so verse number 4 is the same, but you play the E flat major and the D minor only one time. And then E flat major, C sus 4, E flat major, F sus 2. And that's the, yeah, the mid part of the song, the middle. And then you go to a bridge. So let me play the verses one time. Let me play verse four one time in total.
Okay, and that is the part where he goes to the bridge. And the bridge, uh, yeah, there's a, uh, an extra guitar in it, but I chose to do the one guitar. And he plays a G minor, but not over here, but over here. So G, the flat three, and the five, the perfect fifth. Same picking pattern. So halfway the second bar of the bridge, you go to an F. So yeah, so you play the first five notes, and then you go to F. So one and two, and then you go to B flat major. Capo got me again. <laughs> B flat major. Two times. E flat major. So after the E flat major. You go to C. Which in the third fret. And your pinky. On the fifth. And an open G string. And then go back to G minor. That's the bridge played two times. And after you play the bridge two times, you go back to the intro. But with one different thing, because why not make it a little bit harder for us guys trying to play the song. So the last chord of the intro was a B flat major. And then you play until the fifth string and then your thumb goes to the 11th fret. And then you play an E flat major. So. the intro play two times over there and then you go again to the bridge and then you play the bridge part again and the bridge part is exactly the same and then you end on the outro which is the same as uh, the link section between the intro and the verses and that's everything there is in this song. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got questions, feel free to ask me anything. Maybe I can get back to you and help you anyway. So um, yeah, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you next time with another video. I hope. Cheers. Bye bye.